the, the Ottoman Empire, all the Arab countries who not just traded far more slaves than across the Atlantic, but castrated all the men so that there wouldn't be any more African slaves in, uh, after them. They worked them to the bone. I see no interest across Africa in paying reparations for selling their brother and sister Africans into slavery or for working them to the bone to the present day. There is slavery across Africa today. In fact, there are more slaves in the world today than there were at the height of the transatlantic slave trade. So some of us are simply a bit bored of hearing people ripping at closed wounds and then crying about their hurt or their presumed hurt because everybody could do this. A million Europeans were stolen by North Africans. Douglas. I am so sorry that Douglas is bored by the pain that has come from That's not what he said. through slavery. He didn't say... He's, he's, I am he so didn't say, no, see, okay. But what you're but doing there... What you're not, do, yeah, but hang but on, Paula. Paula, you're honest. being very disingenuous. That's not I what he said. I am. The viewers I aren't stupid. They, article, know, they know exactly what he said. He's Hello, guys. What's up? Hi, guys. I hope you guys are feeling good. Welcome back to the show. No, I do see a couple of real simple. We're going to be checking out a very quick video um, by Douglas Murray, humbles and arrogant Black Lives Matter activists, live on Pierce Morgan. You know how these arguments can be. They can be so. <laughs> they can just be so heated at some point. So let's just watch this clip out and let's see how it goes. Let's go. Congresswoman Max Maxine Waters in 2021 claimed a Declaration of Independence wasn't for equality and it was only for white men. Her comments were echoed by a fellow Democrat, Cory Bush, who said black people still aren't free. So is there something in all this? Should these national institutions and occasions be opportunities for reflection and apology rather than celebration? I actually agree with uh, Douglas about the fact that we don't know enough. He's mm. absolutely right. We don't know enough. And it's important that we do. But part of the knowledge is also understanding the hurt and pain that were caused, not just about the good things. It's not just about the cherry picking. And wrongs are not about being masochistic. So, saying sorry is not a bad thing. Saying sorry is actually a very empowering thing matter? to do. Why does it matter that a bunch of royals now get forced into issuing grovelling apology? Who care? How does it change so, anything? It doesn't, it doesn't do anything, in my estimation, to, to impact on current slavery, where it exists around the world. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really make any difference to institutional racism, as we've seen in, in certain parts of society. Okay. I don't know what difference it makes. It might make people feel a bit better to see a royal grovelling, but so what? See, I don't agree with you. Surprise, surprise. I do think it makes a difference. I do think it makes a difference that people, people in power are heard to acknowledge pain and hurt. I do think it's important that people in power have uh, taken the time... But whose pain and hurt are you talking about? It's not, it's not people living today. These are going back hundreds of years, in some cases, these crimes of slavery and so on. We all agree it was outrageous. It's been debated, you know, really, year after year. We all know this. I don't think that people have a lack of knowledge. And I'm not quite sure where the apology tour ends. What's, what's the end game here? So the end game is about the ability to understand the true history, not just the part of history that we have been taught. And that okay. is the difficulty. So you're talking about who's the apology for? Well, the apology is for me. The apology is for those who have suffered. The apology is for those who continue to struggle through colonialism and through slavery. And I do think that it's important that royalty are coming forward and saying, we apologise for the part that we... All right, so, so is, that it? Is, that, is that enough? When is enough <laughs> enough? If we're well, all saying sorry to... Ask, hang on, hang on. the British on. government, when is enough enough? <laughs> to, oh, to repay, when, uh, to compensate slavery. So if we're all saying sorry when today... When is enough? Well, it, that's my question to you, and, and you're not well, answering it. Well, when my point is, if we, all say, if we all say sorry today, it was terrible, which we all know, yeah. can we then say, right, that's done, we're going to look forwards, we're going to yes. be positive, we're yes. going to celebrate our achievements, yes. learn from our failures, Absolutely. and we're done with apologising. Absolutely. And so how are we going to learn from our failures if we do not understand what we did wrong? You learn from your failures because that's what we're doing at the moment. The sort of report How you had do you from the... you learn from your failures you, if you don't report, know what you did wrong? If be, you refuse to because, accept that you did because wrong? Because the, the cricket board, the ECB, they've just produced a report. They've reported. Some of it was good. Some of it you can criticise or question. The point is, we've learned from that. We're moving on. We're celebrating. We're being positive. Otherwise, How have it, we learned I tell you from what it does. It, How it, have we it depresses it, everybody. It leads to a well, perception what of you, decline. I, I agree with that. I, I think what it does... I want to bring in Lee Greenman here, who's a, a big country star in America, and he wrote God Bless the USA, one of the great anthems celebrating the United States. It's July 4th, 
obviously, as I said at the start here, Lee, we don't celebrate it with quite such enthusiasm, this side of the pond. We sort of take a view that Mad King George dropped the ball a bit, but I'm happy for my American friends that you have this day to celebrate. Uh, you wrote this great, uh, really, for your country. Can we be proud of our country anymore? Or is this kind of this desire to feel regret about everything and apology for everything, does that mar the pride? How do you feel? Well, I'm going to go out on a limb here and just say the people that I run with and talk to, and I believe me, I tour across America all the time. We do 140, 50 days a year, every doghouse, outhouse, and roundhouse. And I okay. talk to the American public. They listen to what I say, listen to what I sing. I happen to be a country music performer, but I was born in California, spent 20 years in Nevada. I live in the South now. And I wrote this song because it was for unity. It's a unity and for military sacrifice. And yeah, America started as an interesting expedition uh, and then an, and fought it out. We fought each other in the Civil War and said, okay, we're going to bury the hatchet here. The truth is, as we move forward, a lot of people try to change history. I'm okay with history. I'm okay with apologizing Perfect. for what happened back then. But I agree mm -hmm. with you. That was back then. Let's move forward. Let's move on past that. And let's not change history and try to change what happened. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, Douglas, the problem is we forgot to be genuinely proud of our great countries, both America yeah. and the United Kingdom, two of the greatest countries in the world. It's almost well, like that's... every day now, somebody somewhere, normally on the left, the woke left, is queuing up to find a reason to hate the countries and their histories. Well, it's, it's a kind of grievance competition. Your guest earlier just tried to engage in it. I don't know what hurt she believes she's had from slavery. Uh, all of this was addressed two centuries ago. Everything has consequences. All history has consequences and ramifications. But, you know, if we were to play this fairly, we would at least look at all of the countries around the world that engaged in the slave trade who are simply not interested in any form of reparations, the, the, the Ottoman Empire, all the Arab countries, countries who not just traded far more slaves than across the Atlantic, but castrated all the men so that there wouldn't be any more African slaves in, uh, after them. They worked them to the bone. I see no interest across Africa in paying reparations for selling their brother and sister Africans into slavery or for working them to the bone to the present day. There is slavery across Africa today. In fact, there are more slaves in the world today than there were at the height of the transatlantic slave trade. So some of us are simply a bit bored of hearing people ripping at closed wounds and then crying about their hurt oh or my their God. presumed hurt because everybody <laughs> could do this a million Europeans were stolen by North Africans over the course of decades of the North African Barbary pirate slave trade where would you end if you did that the answer is you couldn't end because nobody is alive who has actually suffered the hurt and nobody is alive who did the wrong and I'd make one other point if I may it's always the countries that people want to come to who are put through this struggle session. Britain, like America and France, are among the, are the most desired destinations for migrants worldwide and have been for centuries. Why is that? It's not because we're racist. It's because we're better. It's because we're good. It's because when we see racism, Shit. we actually call it out and recognize it as a sin. Try finding that across Africa. Try finding that across the Middle East or in China. Nobody would hear. So what we have is a situation where the more virtuous countries are presented as the worst countries. It's sick and most of us are tired of it. Thank you, Douglas. <laughs> I am so sorry that Douglas is bored by the pain that has come from That's not what he said. through slavery. He didn't say... He's, he's, I am he so didn't say no, he, But what you're but doing there... What you're doing, yeah, but hang but on, Paula. Not Paula, bored. you're being very disingenuous. That's not I what he said. I am. The viewers aren't stupid. They know, they know exactly what he said. He's not I saying he's bored by the pain. <laughs> he's saying, and I think it's a perfectly valid point, the pain that people who are alive today are claiming they're suffering mm. for what happened two or three hundred years is not a, it's not a real pain. They're not no. the ones who suffered what was going on two or three hundred years ago. So, it, it, in terms of justice for all, I mean, I think we'd all agree that... We're suffering from when the Normans think, invaded this country. Agree. I'm not suffering from what my ancestors went through. I noticed that I've not been allowed to respond. I on, or from the Romans. Is... In other words, where, where do you take this? I mean, should I now be well, feeling I pain from what did to this In country? terms of slavery, I can take it to 2015. 
when the slave owners were, were compensated by the mm. government. So I can take it to that but extent. But where does your personal pain I, come? And I can say to you, and I can say to you, that I don't think that apologising mm. is a bad thing. I think that apologising for a wrong is a good thing. I think that the okay. um, Dutch royal family have done a fantastic in acknowledging I think what, make, has, all right. what has gone okay, wrong. OK, I hear you, but look, I think it'll make no difference at all. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand the perception she's coming from. Looking at it, the blacks have suffered from slavery. But that has been a long time. She's just trying to make this less be known that being sorry or saying sorry, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to say sorry. But what she's not understanding is for how long do you want to hear the sorry? I know a lot of people are gonna gonna be against me for saying this, but for how long do you want to be? Do you want the sorry to be heard, to also be to be said? For how long? Okay, the 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 the, the whites did, did um slave trade to us with the blacks, but it's been a long time ago. Let's just proceed. Let's move on. At least racism now is being recognized when there's a racist, racist statement. When there's a racist statement or racist privilege or racist indifference, the, the, it's being spotted out immediately. And they are even giving us more opportunity to, to be ourselves or to explore more or to grow more than what we are today. According to what um, Douglas said, US, UK, and France is one of the top destinations every migrants want to go. Despite even the slave they did to us, we still want to go there. It's because there's this reconciliation that has been done. They have apologized. They've said they're sorry, which is a good thing. Now it's our time to move on. Now it's our time to find a better them. Now it's our time to find a, even a better us. So it's just so mind-blowing why she couldn't understand. And they were... They, for her saying that they were just all putting it to her to be like for her to understand that this is an old injury that don't spill it off. Let's lie. Let's it be. It's just so mind blowing. I really enjoyed this watching this video. It's educative. I feel her point. I feel what she's trying to make. I feel the statement. I feel I feel the point she's trying to make, you know? And that that is a long time. That is a long time. We 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 far we far gone that time. So let's move on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this video. I'll be so happy to get your comments. I would be so happy to get your comments. Let me know what you think about this and that'll be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep watching and watch us for more. Peace and God bless you.